They also explain how some large sharks and whales have washed ashore with curious bite wounds that seem like they were taken down by another, even bigger shark. Scientists believe- Yo, what up guys, Kelvin here. I got a very exciting video for you guys. Today, we're gonna be looking at 10 reasons why Megadon could still exist. To be honest, I kind of still believe that Megadon could still exist today. You know why? One reason is because we only explore about 20% of the earth's ocean so 80 percent of the territory is still unexplored no human being can ever reach it because it is way too deep inside the ocean so yeah i am really excited to hear some facts or some reasoning on why megadon could still exist today and it might be pretty legit you know just think about it 80 percent of the ocean is still unexplored before we start the video make sure to leave it in the comment section below do you think megadon still exists in this world so yeah i am really excited about the video hopefully you guys can get this video an early thumbs up really really help out the channel and yeah let's get right in with it so we've done plenty of videos debunking the theory that the megalodon still exists but what if evidence to the contrary really does mean that the meg is still lurking in our waters it may seem a little fishy at first but think about it 80 percent of the world's oceans are unexplored yeah, there have been unexplainable sightings of giant sharks in these vast waters and we have found megalodon teeth that date back only thousands of years instead of millions Finding one of these prehistoric sharks would be momentous and earn the discoverer millions. So mm. let's put skepticism aside for a moment and look at the reasons that the megalodon might still be out there. Scientists believe that the biggest megalodons could have been longer than 60 feet or 18 meters wow. and weighed as much as 50 tons. 50 That's about tons. five times heavier than a T-Rex. The earliest megalodon fossils date to 20 million years ago, with scientists believing that these monstrous sharks ruled our oceans for at least 13 million years. But if the meg is still out there today, where could it be hiding? The lack of any verified megalodon sightings might actually be a clue as to where these giant prehistoric sharks are hiding out. Scientists believe the megalodon was a fan of warm coastal waters millions of years ago, but evolution could have sent the meg into much cooler depths of the ocean. The Mariana Trench is the deepest part of the ocean, and it's actually teeming with strange life forms, like the elusive giant squid. Whoa. The trench is about 11,034 meters deep, or 36,201 feet, which is almost seven miles. There are plenty of adapted marine life down there that the Megalodon could feed on, but exploring the trench is extremely difficult and expensive. To get anywhere near the bottom of the trench, explorers and researchers need submarines worth millions of dollars complete with high-tech equipment. Most ocean explorers and underwater vehicles are unable to reach depths of more than 7,000 feet, leaving half of the trench unexplored. Because it's so costly to go deeper, many parts of the trench have yet to be examined. But if you're a curious megalodon hunter or just someone who loves trenches, you could always try a little megalodon discovery mission of your own. For $750,000 per person, Texas businessman Victor Vescovo will take guests down 35,843 feet in limiting factor, his $37 million Triton 36002 submarine. With costs like this, it's not really surprising that the megalodon or other giant sea creatures could be lurking deep in the ocean. Would you spend $750,000 to go space? or to go deep down the ocean leave it in the comment section below would we'll love to hear it just out of humanity's reach since what's unseen isn't the best evidence to prove something exists let's look at the fossils or more specifically the teeth mm -hmm. many of the known fossilized megalodon teeth came from shark tooth hill near bakersfield california people can dig up huge shark teeth here ranging from a couple of inches to over six inches mm -hmm. and they fetch a pretty good price if you find a nice one high quality five inch megalodon teeth run between 250 and 500 dollars or more oh, larger that's... teeth of six inches or more go bad. for about 300 bucks if they're beat up looking or for more than $800 if they're pretty good quality. Hey, I would definitely buy like a mega tooth. You know, look at that. 800 is not too bad, you know. If you think about it, everybody can probably come up with the $800. If it's like an $80,000, that would be way too expensive or, or $8,000. But just $800? Yeah, I'll buy it.
Some have even claimed to make as much as $10,000 from a single Meg tooth. Whoa. But besides being an expensive collector's item, Megalodon teeth have been the source of some controversy. Plenty of teeth have been found, but there's one particular toothy discovery that has baffled scientists. In 1875, the HMS Challenger was dredging up a seabed near Tahiti when it pulled up a pair of Megalodon teeth. Over the years, dating of these teeth has shown results ranging from 10 to 15,000 years old. That's a far cry from 1.5 million years ago when the Megalodon supposedly went extinct. While some believe this dating must be wrong, others insist that it's accurate and that it means that the Megalodon was in our oceans a lot more recently than we think and that it could still be there today. Hmm. Seeing is believing, so of course the most passionate Megalodon believers are those who have claims to have seen huge sharks unlike anything they thought existed. Sightings of some very large sharks have never been properly explained, oh, but we don't have much proof of these that sightings so either. Scary. Still, if you're going to take the fishermen at their word, there's evidence that at least some form of mega shark is out there. Naturalist David Stead, author of the book Sharks and Rays of Australian Seas, wrote about a group of fishermen in New Zealand who saw, quote, an immense shark of almost unbelievable proportions, end quote, in 1918. These men refused to go to sea to their regular fishing grounds because they were too afraid of this gigantic shark, which Stead and others have since said could have been a megalodon. Stories of fishermen scared to go to sea after seeing giant sharks over 40 feet long have been passed down for centuries in different areas of the world. While the whale shark is known to get as long as 60 feet or 18 meters, many who have seen these giant creatures insist it wasn't any shark that they've ever heard of. The giant sharks from these sightings haven't been caught or explained, so we can't quite rule out the possibility that there are potential megalodon occasionally terrorizing fishermen. Wow. One of the scary. biggest legends of the megalodon comes from the Sea of Cortez, also known as the Gulf of California. Fishermen in the area have long reported seeing extremely large sharks that locals refer to as a creature known as the Black Demon. In July of 2008, Fisherman Eric Mack's boat was struck by a huge shark. The tail rose five feet out of the water, and he claimed its body looked over 60 feet long. This matches with many other black demon sightings in the area, which all describe seeing a giant shark or sea creature over 60 feet long. While we may have never caught a megalodon or seen one up close, there are some videos that are not doctored and have no clear explanation, like this one. On November 20th, 2012, the Brazilian Coast Guard had some terrifying company during a rescue operation. They managed to get a video of a giant 60-foot shark swimming just alongside them. You can see the shadow moving in the water Whoa. on the right. The footage has been examined and is genuine, though no one has been able to accurately explain what species of giant shark decided to make itself known to the Coast Guard. With no better options, many have chosen to believe this is the elusive Megalodon. Let us know in the comments section down below if you think this shark is the Megalodon or some other giant sea creature. For the Megalodon to exist, scientists would have to be wrong about them going extinct over a million years ago. This wouldn't be totally out of character, since scientists have been wrong before about prehistoric sea creatures being extinct. Some examples of prehistoric creatures once thought long gone that still inhabit our waters are the coelacanth, a 360 million year old species, the frilled Ooh. shark, which is oh 80 million years goodness. old, and the unique looking nautilus, which is a whopping 500 million years old. Whoa. As for whether or not the megalodon could still be hiding, we can look to another elusive creature, the giant squid. Giant the squid? largest ever caught was almost 43 feet or 13 Holy. meters long and may have weighed 43 feet think about it you know how long that is and look at the squid is literally humongous i didn't even know squid could be like rare too man i bet that is like probably three three or four times the size of an elephant weighed nearly a ton however One it's ton. estimated that giant squid could be as much as 60 feet long if these giant creatures can hide in our ocean, a large living specimen of a giant squid has yet to be caught. Then it's possible that there could be an undiscovered giant shark out there too. Oh my someone... goodness, like if you think about it, what if this squid, it weighs one ton and 60 feet, went to the beach? Man, everybody gonna be so freaking out. Like the giant squid went over to the beach and took over the world. I mean, that might happen, you know, 2020 was just a really bad year. 
and then the giant squid decide to come over to the land to take over the world man it gotta be even worse one finally does manage to discover the megalodon then they would make millions for the specimen and from documenting their journey the megalodon show brought in record ratings for discovery with 4.8 million viewers tuning in in 2013, it was the highest rated and most watched Shark Week episode of all time. A documentary proving the actual existence of the Meg could easily make the explorer $500,000 to $1 million in profits, if not more. Plus, a real megalodon specimen would be a huge tourist magnet, especially if it was alive. A simple reef shark makes about $1.9 million US dollars for the tourism industry in Palau over its lifetime. If a meg was captured and contained, it would easily make whatever museum, aquarium, or town it's in millions of dollars in tourism every year. Yes, for sure. Like if they caught a megadon and they put it in a tank, holy crap. I imagine maybe you get like 2 or 3 million visitors per year. You know, that would be super crazy. But I don't really want the megadon to be caught, you know. The Megadon deserves to be in the nature, enjoy the ocean. I don't want the Megadon to live in a small tank so people can just enjoy it. You know, Megadon might be only there, might be only a few Megadon left. You know, so live in the wild, maybe they, the Megadon can mate and find a wife, have children, have a family. You know, so I can live a happy life. I don't want Megadon to be caught and live in the aquarium just to, you know, make some money, make some profit for these super greedy companies. We definitely line up to see it. And you can let us know in the comments if you would too. There are a few big questions that still need to be answered. If the Megalodon really is out there with these other prehistoric creatures, why hasn't one washed up on shore? And what have they been eating? With its large serrated teeth, the Megalodon would have eaten whales, large fish, and probably other sharks. If you're that big, you need to eat a lot of food. So large prey is required. This could possibly explain why so few giant squid are seen. They've become megalodon food. It may also explain how some large sharks and whales have washed ashore with curious bite wounds that seem like they were taken down by another, even bigger shark. Scientists believe that competition for food was actually what drove the meg to extinction. And it was all due to their smaller, faster cousin, the great white. But if the megalodon adapted to eating deep sea fish, then it might be hard for us to find evidence of its habitat or feeding practices. As for us not seeing any megalodons washing up on beaches, that could be due to them not having tons of natural predators and to them being located in the deepest parts of our oceans. Most videos of supposed megalodons washing up on shore are either fake or inconclusive. The truth is, if the megalodon is still out there, we don't know much about what it could be like today. If it adapted to deeper, colder water, then it could look like a much different shark than what scientists believe it did over 1.5 million years ago. While we can easily find reasons as to why a meg hasn't washed ashore or been properly filmed, we can never know until we find a real-life specimen whether or not these legendary sharks are still out there. Are all these fishermen who have seen giant sharks crazy? Are they making it up? Or are there definitely giant sharks out there? Either way, it sure is fun and terrifying to think that deep within our oceans, there may lurk a shark like no other, bigger than whales and boats, that just doesn't want to be found. Oh my goodness, that is pretty exciting video. That was really, really good. So now we can look at the comments and see what other people think of the video. So, so you are telling me they can get a rover to Mars, but not to the bottom of the ocean. Distance from Mars to oh my the humans could they the humans got a rover to Mars 65 million miles okay and they can even get something to the bottom of the ocean okay that is why I only swim in pools <laughs> man what if you swim in the beaches and then giant squid like a one ton 65 feet squid attack you that would be a horrible way to, to die, you know? I believe that the Megadon exists and it is one of my biggest goals as a marine biology major to find evidence that it is still out there. Give it a thumbs up. That is a good mission statement right there. It is 2020. Anything is possible. I agree.
2020 was just a bad year, you know. What if a megaton actually show up in the middle of the nowhere in the ocean and attack a cruise ship? Yeah, it'll be the second Titanic that go down, you know. That is it for today. Make sure to give this video an early thumbs up. That is it for today, so make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification, and my social media link is in the description below. And yeah, my name is Calvin, and I'll see you guys next video. Before